Hey guys, I want to talk about cholesterol deficiency. Now, I know you've been taught that you need to lower your cholesterol so far down because it's so dangerous, it's going to clog your arteries, but here's the facts. There are way more problems with low cholesterol than there is with high cholesterol. Let's just let's just take let's say you had high cholesterol, high total cholesterol. Do you realize that the risk for heart attack would only be 0.1% increased? That's one tenth of one percent. So if I were to tell you, because of your high cholesterol, uh, you have one tenth of one percent chance of getting a heart attack, would you take the medication? Probably not, right? The amount of problems that occur with low cholesterol, depression, cancer, strokes, aortic dissection, where that's where the aorta just splits, and that would cause a stroke, obviously, uh, internal bleeding. Uh, prone to suicide. Wow. Probably from the depression, right? Uh, why? Because cholesterol is necessary to make hormones. Uh, Short-term memory loss in the elderly. Susceptible to infection, including MRSA. That's probably why so many people at the hospital are getting MRSA, because they put them on statins. Uh, increased risk for AIDS. Increased risk, uh, uh, chance of getting allergy or asthma. Um, you can actually improve allergies and asthma by giving the person vitamin D, but to, to, get, to make vitamin D, you need cholesterol. Um, so here's the thing. In 1994, low cholesterol would be considered like 160 or less. Nowadays, people are trying to get it down to like 110, and they think that's healthy. I put some links down below so you can learn about the facts about cholesterol, but what you need to know is there's way more problems with low cholesterol than there is with high cholesterol. So let's talk about the foods that are highest in cholesterol, okay, if you wanted to raise your cholesterol if it was too low. Now I don't consume brain, but brain would be the highest amount of cholesterol that you can possibly consume, which is interesting because your, our brains are 20% cholesterol. We need the cholesterol to feed our brains. So you can also get an organ meats, liver, kidney, loaded with cholesterol. It's interesting, why is that? Because our bodies need cholesterol for those organs, right? Caviar is very high in cholesterol. Cod liver oil, egg yolks, that's where I get my cholesterol. Uh, butter, cold water fish, lard. So these are all foods that a lot of people ate back in the early 20s and 30s, but of course in the 40s. And then in the 50s and 60s, people just kind of got them out of their diet. But um, the truth is that cholesterol deficiencies create more problems than high cholesterol. Thanks for watching. Hey, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for your amazing, amazing successes that you guys are writing about. And I would love to have a complete success story from you with a before picture and an after picture as well, if you have that. And I put a link down below so you can fill it out. If you don't have a weight loss before and after, just put an image of yourself and your success. I would love to read it and I would love to share it with others because it does give them hope that they could be helped too. Thank you so much.